So this could go one of two ways. Bad or good? Holy moly. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Previously, we uh, did some body work. We got some things further along on the cab. And, well, here we are diving into the radiator, trying to get the front end of the truck done so we can actually fire the truck back up and have all of that in a working situation. So let's dive into it. Well, what we're going to do right now is finish up the radiator. And... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we got all of uh, Healy coils, so thread repair kits and uh, do, 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 three eighths or five sixteenths. So we'll go fix that one that stripped out in that aluminum. I got a little wild here. Um, we got all our Healy coils and, and somebody wrote in the comment and I think they were making fun of me saying Healy coil, but that's, that's what it's called. Healy, H-E-L-I dot coil. Um, which is just a insert into it. So, and then you thread into that. So that's what it is. Um, we got 5 16 by 18, quarter by 20, and 3 8 by 16. So and I got some extras because they were on sale. So you never want to have to use them, but when you need them, now we got a kit. And I had this kicking around underneath the bench here for a while. And Slowly getting organized. So we need uh, 5 16 by 18. So you go in, tap your hole to that size, and then thread that in, and your other one threads into that. Simple as that for when you strip out stuff. So I should be able to tap it and actually insert the coil without having to take that cover off. That is kind of my thinking because we already did seal it. Um, and it's just sitting there, but couldn't run it that way. It would push it out with the pressure of the radiator, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. I will admit it is absolutely freezing underneath here. Yeah, we're gonna do something better for next winter, but we're working with what we got. It is cold though. I should have done this earlier in the day. Um, alrighty, insert going in. We're back and we are good to go. So if we go over to here, I'll show you what's going on over here. So you can see that one already has a helix coil in it. Same with the one next to it. Let me see if I can get the light up in there. Show you guys some more. There we go. So you can see that one's sticking out. That one's flush. Um, we gotta change this bracket, any, or this hose piece anyways, because uh, that broke. I'll show you from above. So as we see right here, that corner's nicked out. And uh, that's from uh, some impact and it splitting apart. So it shattered that, but good thing we got a spare one right here. So we'll get it cleaned up. Eh. Get it cleaned up a little bit, get some new bolts in it, and go from there. Come on. There's a little bit of coolant still in it. There we go. Got the broken one out. Something ain't right with these. So. I'm thinking the coil is out of this right side one. This left side one, it goes and then it actually snugs up to the point. Whereas this just goes in and it never snugs up. But I cannot see up in there. I do have something that's been sitting on the shelf over there that we're gonna give a try. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We're gonna find out. As we know, V-Bar, great partner of the channel. Tough tools, half price. As long as you guys keep enjoying their products, um, link is down below always for all the tools that we utilize. Huh. This is cool. So they hit me up and as always, I'm like, yeah, I'd love to showcase that. So we got 
a little screen, which is quite unique. Should we read the directions now? So we got a steering bore scope, which uh, it's got a charger, C port, love it. There we go, steering and end scope is what it's called. And uh, all those tough to see places, Oh my God, look at that. That is so cool. Okay. And it's quick. So, alrighty, clearly it's charged up a little bit. Uh, let's throw the screen on, which is, I take it it's that easy. Yeah, it's on. I'll give you guys a little view of it. So there's an on button. Might need to be charged now. I can't believe, oh no, it's gone. So we got Vivor, it's got a good battery. Let me take this cover off. It helped, well, let me take the cover off first. That usually helps so you can actually see what you're doing. If I can get the cover off. Sometimes you're real sticky. And you just can't get them. You guys see enough. There we go. So, take the protective cover off. Quality's not that great, huh? But, if you take that little piece off that covers it, there we go. Why are we upside down? Are we upside down? Oh, we're sideways. Okay. We gotta figure out how to make this work. Oh. If you turn the thing upside down, it's like that. So there we go, which is pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna go see what we can see in there. And you got the light, you can turn it on. It's got different settings. That is, see, got a light. And I think you can take pictures Oh, it's video, it's recording. So you can show what goes on. This thing's slicker than I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Alrighty, we're gonna go see what those threads look like. Okay, we got it. So, link is always down below. But there is some sweet stuff that they've sent me over the years. And uh, I appreciate them being a good partner of the channel and allowing me to showcase stuff for you guys and get cool tools because uh you guys like seeing it so let me throw you guys somewhere here all right you guys see much so here we go we're gonna go up here so there's the hole and i can see well let me stop moving around so much I can see right there that threads are missing out of there. So, oh, there we go. But if we want to look in the hole, there we go. Uh, that's pretty nasty in there. Yeah, they put a coil in there and it did not, well, it's not all the way in, it rusted out or something. Whereas this hole, where are we there? There we go. It's tough looking at it and looking back. This hole is about the same way. Ugh. Okay. So we should probably redo both of them. But that is, that's sweet, honestly. Cause I was gonna get my phone out and try to take a picture of that, but you take a picture, look at it, then you're done. Then you try to look at it again. So, um, yeah. Got to do some things and some stuff. Well then. I don't know what to tell you guys any longer. Can you guys see me? Like, uh-oh, phone's going off. Better go answer that. Good old Robert giving me a call on a check-in. Um, yeah. I'm not actually sure what I want to do with these. 
We're gonna have to heli coil them, but they already were. Somebody kind of hacked them together, though. Yeah, that bore scope is pretty pretty sweet. So I'm pumped about that. We're gonna use that a lot in the future. Um, I honestly don't know what I wanna do with this. I wish I had done this when the radiator wasn't in. I didn't think about it. Okay, we are getting them out. I'm worried about not getting them all the way out, but. Okay, we got some. I'm gonna need two hands, but this is <sighs> dirt in the mouth. It's okay then I don't need dinner, right? Do you guys see anything? <laughs> no? No. There we go. Not much room, to be honest. stays together we should be okay as long that's the key would have been way 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 easier So then we can start that one from scratch. I don't know if you, you guys saw some of it, right? Yeah. Now we gotta see if we can get this one. <gasps> this one out. Oh. Somebody already did them up to the point where we can't utilize those holes any longer. Um, like, drill bit just goes all the way in. We're gonna have to go to a bigger size. That's annoying. Uh, you guys can't see much, but it just, or the tap just goes in. We're gonna have to go to a bigger size. Okay, I'm glad we looked at this and saw it. 
Well, I wish we I realized that earlier. Because yeah, if you look, it, here's the helicoil, coil, and it just it goes in there like just hangs out. Huh. So these are three eighths, so we're gonna have to go bigger. Um, which doesn't give me such a good feeling. Well, I got the three sizes and we went to AutoZone for them and they were on sale, like I was saying. I guess I should have got a half inch. I was thinking, why would I need a half inch? So it says they got them in stock. A half inch, 10 piece set. So I guess we'll fill that box with some more stuff tomorrow. Not the end of the world. I gotta make a list, half inch, half inch bolts. Uh, things and stuff Some more things and stuff. I did find those cab lights for the top Eight dollars a piece. They're like a plasticky thingy and should take the same bulbs because we got LED bulbs and everything uh, I gotta get the inserts They're tappers. I think that's what they are I'll have to look. I gotta make the list. We're doing better. We do still need a whiteboard in here. Yeah, that's on my list. Somebody said just get dry erase marker or something right on the walls, the sheets. All right, well, let me make a list in a sec. Let me put this away before I do something up. So put the cover back on, screen slides off. I take it. Yeah. Probably put it in upside down. I learned that working at D Laval, working at our dealership. Because it's awkward when you smash them. Well, not these, but screens. Wraps right up. This is slick. I am. Comes with the cord. We'll keep the instructions. The link is down below. You got a discount code too. But go check out v more stuff because that was awesome. I'm very impressed by this thing. And it's lightweight. This is gonna come in handy in the future. All right, let me make a list. It's getting chilly. The heat's not keeping up now. I don't know what time it is. 7.30. What what's the temperature outside? I'm trying to get Wi-Fi. That's why I'm sitting by the window. That's why I'm sitting underneath the heater too. I don't even know. It's probably 15 degrees now. Um, where are we here? We got all that stuff. I got my to-do to get list. So, quarter inch Healy coil kit extra. Helps if I spelled right. Extra coils. Half inch bolts. Washers. Bolts? Yeah. Washer. Wash. Uh, lock washers. I'm thinking that's going to be an inch. I'll say, whoop, we're getting better. 0.751, one, one, and then uh, we'll get a one and a quarter if they got it. If they don't, we'll get one and a half. I know I need more stuff than that. Oh, find a cab. It's like a ribbon. Cab nuts. That sounds right. What else do we need? I think that's it. I'm gonna try to put that other cross. Oh, we need belts, air filters. Now I remember. Air filters, belts, coolant. I think 
God for honor, for honor to be correct. Um, windshield. We probably should get a windshield tomorrow. Or get one order. That should do it. Oh, door. So the door handle, out exterior door handle on that passenger door, I was going to swap them. It doesn't want to come apart. And I know if I force that handle off, it is going to break the bolt and we're going to have to do it anyway. So for $65 or whatever they are, we'll just get a new one. Passenger door handle. It's an exterior handle. Um, I know there's more stuff. Okay, so we have one bracket on that supports the radiator. It's not tight. We're gonna have a, this bracket has two that come across and uh, we got it apart right here. Only issue is, let me show you guys. This is the previous bracket. I, I know, clean the bench. It's coming with a toolbox. When the toolbox comes, we clean the bench. We're never leaving tools on the bench again. I don't know what the toolbox is coming. It's supposed to, it was supposed to be here in the middle of the month. Today's the 14th, 14th. So we got some brackets that uh, got some bars that got some bends to them and things like that. And uh, we should see if we can straighten them out. So I'll go ahead and take Maybe. Should have just found these.
phone does has not stopped today. And keep in mind, this doesn't, it's not super strong stuff. It's just a support bracket. Ugh. Got a little bentor. Not bad though. Not bad at all. I believe this one goes, ow. Ow. Oh. Mm. How did that? It's gonna hurt. <sighs> Rip some skin off there. So I, I believe this one goes from that corner over to here. It's bleeding. Imagine that. There for a second. and it's cracking so it ain't gonna hold up and we're gonna have to adjust it I think we're gonna have to pull that back to that other one back do I mess with that cooler piece or you know what let's mess with it that way we know it's done it's with every other one Otherwise, we need parts for it in the morning. Will this play nicely? Oh, they're bigger. Somebody already tapped that one. Or put a coil in it. So this could go one of two ways. Bad or good? Holy moly. Oh, that just fell on me too. Cross temper piece. Oh, that's going to snap off in there. I just, I just know. And I know if we leave it and we fill it with coolant and then it starts leaking and then we have a bad day. 
Ooh, maybe not. Maybe we just need a little bit more than our ratchet, short ratcheting ratchet. Whew. Okay. But yeah, somebody put big bolts in it. They did put a lot. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, no, gas tank. Oh, yeah, that one's been coiled. You can see the difference in them. I don't know if you guys can on GoPro, but I'll get it cleaned up. So, see how small that one is? See how big that one is? Yeah, quite a little bit different. Get a little razor blade action here. Yeah, pretty nasty. We're gonna have to switch the coolant filter out pretty quickly. Got it cleaned up. Threads actually look pretty good. Um, we're just gonna have a bigger bolt on one side, smaller on the other. But somebody definitely put a coil in there at some point. That actually looks like there's a coil too, but of the right size. So we'll get some coils tomorrow and uh, some threaded rod, I think. I think. Actually, I might go take the rod off the other truck. That's probably a better idea. That way it's not threaded all the way up through, driving me nuts for the rest of my life when I run this truck or work on it. So, yeah, that will probably be a better idea tomorrow in the daylight. That, we'll get some hardware. Definitely some hardware. And, uh, it's stuff like that, little things. So I'm glad that came off and didn't break inside of it. And, uh, Ooh. It's always just a battle. So tomorrow's another day. Um, really need belts. Coolant filter. Got to put coolant filter. That's on my list. Which is a... I got it sitting somewhere here. There we go. We're going to run Baldwin filters again. So we'll probably go Fleet Pride. Big fan of Baldwin filters. They've been good to me. We got to change all the... We got to change the oil on this truck and do that stuff. Well, we got to finish up the cab and uh, all this dent here I can go inside and tap it out it's all good from here back up tops all good we just the hood would sit a little funky but not horribly um, but that's gonna give me character and always remind me where we go and we got to sand this stuff down but I want to finish up some projects before I make a mess on oh, any of that so let's see, I think that's it for today. Um, this goes back to the door. So one goes through there and then you got that and that was rounding off, which it is what it is. We've got to take the lower, the reservoir out, even though we never use the windshield washer fluid ever. Um, yeah, I don't even know if it sprays. Yeah, I think it sprays all the way up. I think the pump's bad. Um, Probably should look into that too, I guess, as long as we're there. Alrighty, I've had enough of today. It is probably like eight something now. My finger's bleeding inside the glove, but I put a glove on it so it was better. But tomorrow is another day. We will be further along on this truck. We've got a bunch of parts. We've got some painting to do if the weather gets warm. Well, if we can get it warm enough, it's 38 in here now. So if we can get it warm enough in here, middle of the day, we'll get some paint on some of our stuff that we got to put black we got to throw the hood back on we got to get the hood out of there so that we can paint in there without getting it all messed up we'll run to town quick in the morning um all part of it i'm not that worried run it to town really yanko loves it because he gets treats but i got a list and we're good to go that's all nature of it so i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one